Well, hello everyone, the Interior Garden here back with another Played Up Back to Basics guide. In today's guide, we're going to be talking about table consumables. There are five table consumables plus a little bonus wall hanging unit right here that we'll go into a little bit later on. Speaking of that, I'm going to move that down there so you can see the tooltip when I get to it. Now, I have a few tables here set up just to mock show what these look like when they're placed on the table once we get to that stage. But without further ado, let's get it going here now. All of these cost money. All of these are considered consumables, which means each box has a certain amount per day that can be used. Let's start at the front here. These are, these are in no particular order, by the way. Just how I brought them in. So the first one is breadsticks. Breadsticks double your thinking time as well as your patience time. Now, this works similarly to a calm painting, but you can pick and choose when you want it. Now, again, if you're Say this is this would be a good thing to use early in your run if it's a higher tier franchise or you have a bunch of starters so you have two soups and some pumpkin seeds or something like that and you're struggling to get all that made before your first couple customers run out of patience slap a couple of these down on their on their table or one per table excuse me and it'll double their thinking time so it'll help them help you a little bit with your with your prep time again you only have four per day this one costs 20 coins the next is your candle box candle box you get four. They also they cost sixty coins, and these can only be used at night. Now you can place them on the table before it's nighttime, but they won't have no effect. Once placed on a table at nighttime, the candle will be lit, and then the effect will take place. And the effect basically says place a table, place on table to increase all patience. So that's ordering patience, thinking patience, delivery patience, etc., etc., etc. Patience by twenty percent, which is pretty good. If you combine this with a plant, that's another ten percent. That's a thirty percent increase some of those stats which can be quite powerful again this is at nighttime say you want at the end of your day you're trying to get a bunch of things put into frozen prep stations or soups made or sides made to put into freezers these are things would be great to really extend that that evening time and you may say well how do i know when it's nighttime well the outside surroundings outside the restaurant will turn black or get darker and the customer queue patients outside will turn to a moon shape when it hits the moon shape, you know you're at nighttime patience, which does go down faster than daytime patience. So this is kind of there to help counteract that. Not a bad thing, but you only get four again per day. The next one is, I keep it in the wrong button, <laughs> just cycle it around for you guys. Next one is sharp cutlery. This one gives you eight. This also costs 60 coins. Place on a table to have customers eat faster. Now here, this is one where, say you have leisurely eating, or say you have another effect that really makes them take longer to eat, this will help speed that up. Now, it doesn't negate any of those effects, but it does help. And this is also good, say you're struggling, say you have a, a midday rush, a lunch rush, or even a dinner rush, and the people like your sir, everybody's eating and you're waiting around for the next customers to come in, slap a couple of these down before they sit down, before they take their order, and they will um, they'll eat faster. This, you only give eight per day again. This one here is your napkins. Napkins also cost 60 coins. They supply 12, which is so it's a lot more than this one, which only supplies eight, and this one only applies four, and this only supplies four. Again, it costs 60 coins, prevents table messes, prevents messes when placed on table. So this is a really good one. If you're having issues with messes, if you're if you're playing a solo player and you're playing diner style where you're serving over the window pass, these will never really be used because they, they won't really affect you very much. But if you're playing a multiplayer game where you have one or two people in the kitchen and you have, say, you have increased mess cards or different cards that increase your mess, napkins can be pretty powerful, especially later in the day when you get those huge messes and you're trying to clean them up and you don't want more messes coming in. You put a couple of these napkins down on some tables and guess what? No more messes for that table, for that customer. Again, these have to be refreshed every time. Um, similar to how these work as well. It's per customer, per table. Um, so this one's a pretty good card. Again, mainly used for multiplayer, not really a solo player use in my opinion. Sharp cutlery can be used for both. Uh, candles the same and breadsticks. These could all be used for solo. This one is more so, in my opinion, a, a multiplayer item because unless you're playing, if you're playing diner style, you don't have the messes typically as much. The next one is a specials menu. It's the same, but with fancier names, which is funny, by the way. So the way the special menu works is you only have four of these. These also cost 60 coins, 60 coins. And this, you put on a table to reset their order. So say you're, I don't know, say you have a very complex order, like you have a steak with a side with a couple sauces or something like that, or breakfast with, with beans, with toppings or salad or something like that that's complex. 
<clears throat> you could place this on the table. This is the whole table, by the way, not just per customer, per table to reset their order. Now, there is a chance that they reset it to the same thing, um, but it's more likely that you'll get something different out of that. But again, you could get the same order, but again, this made meant to change it. And you only get four of these. So these would be used maybe middle of the day if you have a couple rushes or at the end of the day where you're struggling for a couple dishes to get finished or you don't want to start pulling dishes out of a prep station for the next day. Slap one of these down and there you go. But again, you only get four of them per day, but you only need one um, per table. Now, the last thing over here, you saw me messing with it when it first came in. These are called supplies. This goes <clears throat> with all five of these consumables. And what supplies do is exactly what they say. Provides two boxes that reply to table consumables. Now you have two boxes here. That means per day, you can resupply any one of these five. Now, if you have only half of these gone and you use a supply box, it'll refill it to full. If you have all four of them gone or all 12 of them gone for here or all four of these gone, you can replace it and it'll, it'll top you up to whatever the maximum amount for each consumable is, whether it's four, 12, eight, four, or four. Each one of these boxes will refresh that. So if you're doing something like napkins, you have 12. If you have two supply boxes, that gives you 36 napkins, which means that's 36 tables which is pretty powerful if you ask me. Um, but again, you have to have the supplies in order to use it for one of these. And um, I'm gonna go into practice mode so I can show you what these look like on the tables and explain a bit more about how you gotta pick and choose the ones you use. So let's go into practice mode real quick and I'll show you. So you have your breadsticks, you slap them on the table and there you go. You have your candle goes right here because there's not nighttime, the candle won't be lit up. Now, each one of these has a specific spot on the table somewhat. You can place a candle on a breadstick. You have your cutlery, which seems to disappear. There we go. Showing back up now. That was a bit of a glitch there. And you also have your napkins, and you also have your special menu. And you say, okay, well, how many can you put on one table? Well, you can put the cutlery is not seeming to stick. There you go. There's a cutlery. There is a napkin. You can't put a napkin on this table. Can you put a napkin on this one? No, you can't. You can put a napkin here. Could you put a breadsticks here? And can you put a specials menu here? Let's see. Yes, you can. But you can't put all five items on the plate. I'm not sure why it's disappearing. Doesn't really matter, I guess. And you can't put two of the same item down either. It's one per table. You can't put this down on here either. So you have to be careful about which ones you put down. By the looks of it here, your sharp cutlery, you can't use in conjunction with the specials menu, but as soon as a customer sits down at the table, any of the consumables minus the candle box, I believe, will disappear. So essentially they're gonna sit down and then this will go away and then you can slap this down. It's just how mechanics work. You can have four on one table at one time, but you can't have five. But again, as soon as they sit down, any of the consumable ones here will disappear, thus allowing you to put another one down there. And this is also helpful if you have, say, something like double helpings or customers can order twice, you know, one of those customer cards. You can use two of these. So you have breadsticks for the first course. They order, they order again. You put another breadstick down because these will disappear, which is why they're cons considered consumables. They will be consumed when the player sits down at the table. Now, the supply boxes over here, you basically pick a little box up and you put it right here and boom, it refreshes all of them. Now, you can't use it on... It again because it's obviously full you won't let you even place it down but you can come over here replace this and there you go it refills each one that you put on up to a maximum of two per day it'll refill it let's get that practice mode now the one thing is is you could really not abuse this but you could really make good out of this if you get a couple say you get say you get two or three supply boxes here or so you have, say you have six you could you could you could have your napkins here right you have 12 napkins if you have that, you could have 72 napkins or 100 napkins here if you really want to, you know, go like that, which it is possible. Most people don't go that into it, but it's very feasible and it's very possible to do, just not typically used. Now, the last thing I say is, okay, well, where would I use these? Personally, I wouldn't use any of these. And this is my opinion. I play mostly solo. Most of my series or my, my streams, as you guys have known, if you've been watching the channel, um, if you are watching the channel and you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It'd be much appreciated and you'll get notifications for all these guides that come out. 
But nonetheless, personally, I don't play with consumables because playing solo, you usually have enough on your plate to have to deal with messing around with one of these. And if you miss every other table, there's almost no point to use them. But again, if it's what you get and you're like, you know what, I'm struggling at the end of the day. I'm struggling when it's nighttime. I'm going to buy a couple can or buy a candle box and maybe buy another one because you can have multiples of these um, just as you can have multiples of, of pretty much everything in the game. This will this can drop as a blueprint. You could copy it. You could discount it, et cetera, et cetera. And there you go. So for me, if I would pick one of these five to use, which would be the one that I would pick, probably would be the sharp cutlery. Because typically when I'm doing a solo run, I'm all about speed and I need to get people in and out faster. But again, they all have their uses. But personally, I don't use them a lot in my runs, but a lot of people do use them and they're very, very powerful. If you know how to use them correctly and if you're if you're skilled at using them at the right time, they could really extend your run. They could really prevent you from losing some of your higher, higher tier, higher level runs. So thank you guys so much for joining me. As I said before, if you're enjoying this content, Please consider leaving me a subscribe to the channel. We'd much appreciate it. If you're enjoying this video specifically, this back to basics video, please leave a like and a comment. We'd much appreciate it. I have a whole series of back to basic guides um, in this playlist that this is a part of. So feel free to check all those out. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next back to basics played up guide. Take care now.